Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the CU emulator on ROG Alloy X or ROG Alloy. And this is a Nintendo Switch emulator, and it works really well. It's actually a fork of the popular Yuzu emulator, which got taken down by Nintendo. There was a whole thing like it came back, then it got taken down again. But this is a fork of that, so you'll feel very similar in terms of the interface, in terms of the performance as well. So this is a great alternative to, well, Yuzu. So I want to put it out there, this video is not condoned policy. It is for educational purposes, you know, only. should always, you know, legally acquire the, you know, the keys for, you know, firmware, ROMs, anything like that, etc., etc. You should always, you know, own the games that you play, etc., etc. You know, however you get it, it's your choice. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and download Suyu. Um, so you want to open up a web browser. And just to, actually, we'll go right there, but, you know, search for Suyu. Yes, I am using Microsoft Bing. It's just the first one that's there. It's like it gets the job done for the videos. Click get download, and just download the latest. I say stable release, which is zero point zero point three. Go to Windows, download that. So you just click it. You'll start downloading. I've already got it, so I'm going to cancel it. And the next thing you'll need is the keys for production and title keys. This is for decrypting and playing games. Can't show you where to get them for legal purposes. Um, but, you know, on a side note, I'm going to have a Patreon page very soon, which will show you all the exclusive content that you really want to see for emulation. The next thing you'll need is, you know, switch firmware. You can literally just Google it and let's go to one page and then just download the latest firmware. You know, mm, you know, use the one that matches with the keys as well. And I've already got it, so I'm not going to download any of these. So next, what you want to do is go to your downloads folder. Let me focus it a bit more and you need to extract all three of these so i'll extract to you first so right click extract all okay next we're going to extract the firmware so another emulator like ryu jinx doesn't require the firmware to be extracted suyu does just a little note so if you're coming from ryu jinx that might be a little change. So right click production keys. We need to extract them as well. And this is a quick one there, like kilobytes. Okay. So now that we've extracted all of this, the CU folder in there, you'll probably get another CU folder. This is where all the files are, including the executable. This folder where you have all these other files, I recommend copying it and putting it into a location where it's more permanent. And I've got a SD card, I've got a folder called application, and I'm going to put it inside of there. Okay. I'm going to rename this. This is just optional, but I don't like this called CU and then like Windows dash min, uh, you know, GW and then, you know, like the version. I just want to literally just put CU there. So use the keypad, I'm gonna get rid of all of it. Type in CU with a capital. There we go. And so the one in downloads, we can actually delete now. So we can delete this one, I'll just select it and this. We can delete these. And now what we wanna do, go back to our folder where we put it. That's RPCS3, CU, open it up, and let's go through the setup process. Okay, so he says encryption keys are missing. That's fine. We're going to install them now. So you go to tools, install decryption keys, and for me, again, it's in the downloads folder, and then we go to prod keys, and you'll notice that if I go back, to downloads and go to there's two keys you don't need to you'll only show you prod keys that's fine you'll you know install both of them so you just select that we're successfully installed now go to tools install firmware and now same thing just select the firmware folder click select folder doesn't take long it's a matter of seconds it's almost done boom okay the next thing we want to do is just show you the settings so you want to go to emulation configure here, you know, again, feel free to have a look at these like hotkeys, UI. All this we're leaving as, as it is. System, recommend changing it to your language. So for me, it will be English or 
you know British English as they'll call it you know that's the original and then we'll go to Europe for the region and time zone it is just GMT and that's it okay in CPU leave this as auto highly recommended in graphics make sure the API is set to Vulkan if some games aren't working very well feel free to try OpenGL you don't do no because that'll just end up doing software rendering you definitely don't want to do that if you have multiple graphics cards select it here but obviously in ROG Alloy X unless you've got external one you, you know you don't need to select that everything else leave as you know default and uh, in audio you just leave that as it is controls here we can map our controls okay so to map them you want to over here let me focus there'll be two buttons the bottom one you open up the command center and control mode set that to gamepad you want to do that when configuring the you know the controller you also want to do that when you're playing the game you can set it to auto or desktop so you can actually use this as like a mouse otherwise if i show you i can use this as you know a mouse but in gamepad mode i can't that's just a little caveat so you either need to use an external mouse or your you know thumb finger to navigate so let's say if i want to override the d-pad i want to change that to right where is it oh that did not work because yeah so okay first thing select pro controller from these unless you are specifically selecting selecting something like gamecube or a specific game you want to select your controller which will be xbox one controller that's what the rog alloy will appear as if you have an, another controller let's say an xbox you'll probably appear as like xbox one controller one so just bear that in mind select that and let's say if i go to d-pad and now press right there you go it's gone right if i press x it's button zero there we go that was actually a not x i'm doing x in terms of playstation there we go there we can leave that as it is feel free to you know configure all the controls and you can also see the analog sticks moving as well and that's it so you can change it if you want it different for docked and handheld feel free to you know experiment with that you can also and make sure you know connect controller is connected as well you know is selected as well you can you know save a profile so you can click new type in the profile save it and you can delete them as well and the graphing of profiles you can have different ones for different users different games and that's pretty much it and actually before we you know continue i want to throw in some extra tips in this video and that is how to get the best performance out of suyu you uh, because you know that's what you want so i always recommend try it in default the games you want to play if they work great if not here's some tips to get the best performance in graphics you know make sure vulcan is selected but when you go to resolution go down and select 0 0.5 so this will do half of you know the resolution or i guess it's technically a quarter of the resolution because it's half you know the width half the height so it's a quarter of the resolution technically but ignoring that yeah so select that in window adapting filter select amd fidelity fx or fsr as it's known this is an upscaler and because we've downscaled the resolution this will upscale the end image so you can't really tell much of a difference and so you get more performance that way and if you want to experiment with, with the fsr sharpness feel free to that doesn't improve performance that's just the end result how it looks so if you don't like it you can you know tweak that and next thing the okay the last thing that we want to do isn't actually even in this game i mean even in the emulator you want to so if you press out of the right buttons press the bottom one so open up uh, what's it called again the armory crate and in here we want to be able to select the graphics memory so uh, if i go lay load up go to settings and you want to go to performance go to gpu settings and here memory assigned to gpu it might be set to like something like four click auto but just bear in mind when you change it it will ask you to restart your, start your device but yeah select auto and this is just a good tip regardless of you know what gaming you are doing this will improve your performance so that's just a little tip you know to have so you do that and we're pretty much ready to you know go uh, to you know show your games let me just focus you double click on the screen select the folder where your games are for me 
from the SD card, ROMs, switch, and here we go, click select, and here we go. So we can right click, we can check the save data location, we can go properties, and this is pretty cool, we can change the configuration for, you know, on a per game basis. So, you know, we can, you know, right click, we can do the start game without custom configuration or with it. For now, it's all just the same configuration. So I'm gonna click start, There you go, we have Super Mario Wonder working. And there's a couple more tips I wanna show you how to get even more performance out of the emulator. So let me just get in game. And obviously if you wanna go full screen, again, you can just use your finger for this. If you, if you don't have a mouse, click view, you go to full screen right there. Well, I'll leave it as this, that's fine, I'm happy with it. Okay, you know, the performance could be better, so to get even more performance down here, where it says docked, let me focus on that. Don't have dock, click it, have handheld mode. So that's an even lower resolution, because remember handheld generally natively 720, 1080, uh, uh, you know, once it's actually in docked mode, but using our resolution scale, it's 360p for handheld, 540p for docked, but again, using FSR it upscales it really nicely and for where it says high you want to change that and click it and go to normal so this is gpu accuracy and some games might not work very well and you might have glitches then go to high gpu accuracy but if they don't and you want a bit more performance go to normal you will by and large get better performance and that's pretty much it everything else and fsr that's the um you know the filtering so you know you can change it here but you know you want to leave that and now You will get the odd frame drop, you know, I'm getting some here, but by and large, you will get a lot smoother frames, you know, than you would otherwise. And that's it. That is how you, let me, let's turn the volume down. That is how you set up the CU emulator on your ROG Ally and ROG Ally X and how to get the best performance out of it as well. So that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, you know, comment down below what other videos you'd like to see next. Upcoming very soon is a Super Mario Wonder test, you know, benchmark video on this emulator and like the best, you know, settings for that. If there's any differences and, you know, just showing you more, uh, well, you know, performance just to see you know, what it's like. So let me know and stay tuned for that Patreon page coming very soon. Bye.